Legislative and policy amendments to the Domestic Violence Act were examined by the Police Victim and Witness Support Unit and the results shared at the University's public forum on Friday to end violence against women. Gemma Taylor Alexander, a representative from the Police Victim and Witness Support Unit, said that they are working with the police in the various districts to get domestic violence under control. For the, the period 2009 to 2014, using the CAPA stats, which is the, Trinidad, the Crime and Problem Analysis of the TTPS stats, they would have said that there were 11,307 domestic violence reports that would have come in from the different divisions between that period. She said they go into stations and train new officers as well as give them guidance, dispelling doubt on the law surrounding domestic violence. We would go around to the different um, stations within the different divisions and have little sessions with them to let them know this is what is expected, which is part of their policing procedures, of course. But, you know, we gently remind them. But being in the environment, the policing culture, and just that whole pressure of having to do what your seniors say or not stand, you can't stand out, they sometimes fall for that. Although they are a small force, she believes they are making a difference. We are just, we, the we I'm referring to, is just 17 officers. So it's a bit small for the entire of Trinidad, but we have a hands-on approach whereby we will walk it through. Lazing with the officer, lazing with the, the victim, as the case may be, the children, the shelters, the hospitals, because we have done that as well, go to hospital, go to court with them, you know, all those things that have to be done on the ground. Ms. Taylor Alexander noted that training of 700 police officers was done from 2014 to 2015 on the legal and social aspects of domestic violence.